this project we have developed a new process to produce uh, films and to uh, produce uh, lactic acid from seaweeds and we are one of the first ones that we have uh, developed this process so it's quite new and also seaweeds are a very uh, uh, interesting uh, feedstock that are also uh, being developed at the moment and this, this is quite exciting new field. We need to develop new processes where we have a more environmental friendly uh, feedstocks. So feedstocks that they are renewable, that they do not compete with the food industry and uh, that they are not limited. So um, seaweeds can be such a feedstock. The idea to produce plastics from uh, seaweeds came up during some uh, uh, discussions with uh, colleagues and plastics came up as a good, uh, good uh, product because uh, seaweeds uh, contain some polymers that can have the good properties as uh, films and also in seaweeds there are sugars and these sugars can be fermentable and then can be used for production of lactic acid and uh, lactic acid is a polymer for uh, PLA, for polylactic acid, and this is a precursor for uh, bioplastics. These bioplastics uh, from PLA are uh, biodegradable as well, and are very, uh, they have very good chance to be a, a sustainable alternative to the traditional plastics. During a fermentation process, Sugars are converted by uh, microorganisms into products. In this uh, process, we have converted the sugars that are coming from the seaweeds into lactic acid. In uh, this uh, project, we have uh, tested uh, several uh, wild type microorganisms that are uh, well known lactic acid producers for this uh, process. We have seen that uh, depending on the source of the sugars, which specific seaweed is the source, uh, some microorganisms are performing better than other ones. After fermentation, the lactic acid is not as pure as normally, so you have to purify it. You can convert it to lactide. High molecular weight, com uh, commercially used PLA is made from lactide. Lactic acid is a precursor for lactide. We used lactide to make a coating from it. alternative materials for the current petrol-based chemicals, either polymers you use in daily applications, but also in coatings which are mainly based on polymers. The main advantage of this coating is that it is produced without the uses of any petrol-based chemicals. So anticipating on the depletion of the oil, there is at least some alternative material available. In the SeaBioPlast project, we uh, cover the whole value chain from seaweed cultivation up to end products. So it was a very diverse team. And uh, in this project, uh, each partner contributed with his expertise and uh, knowledge on each uh, part, each step of the value chain. This project is successful if within five to 10 years, some big players on the market will make coating resins based on lactic acid. So it's also an invitation for collaboration to accelerate this big step ahead. <laughs>